The 10 Best Video Game Stories Ever 1. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy takes you on one memorable journey across the cosmos. Taking on the role of Star-Lord, the story is full of action, laughs, and moments that may even make you shed some tears. Brilliantly capturing the humor and sense of fun the ragtag crew are so known for, each character brings something to the table, with choices put front and center that allow you to shape how the adventure unfolds. There's so much heart to the story and many moments that will stay with you as you try to navigate a series of chaotic events. The experience really shines aboard the Milano ship you and your ragtag crew call home in the galaxy. Every inch of the Milano really feels like a lived-in space, with excellent environmental storytelling building up a picture of your shipmate's personalities. 2. Life is strange. Life is strange. Before the storm, it seems almost mean to bundle both these brilliant episodic titles into one entry for the best game stories, but they're best experienced as one packet. The original Life is Strange tells the story of Max Caulfield and her friend Chloe Price facing the perils of adolescence, love, and an impending supernatural, town-destroying, storm. Across three episodes you uncover a terrible secret about what happened to a missing girl, Rachel Amber who happen to be incredibly important to Chloe. It's very much focused on how you want to tell the story, and the branching narratives mean that it merits a few playthroughs just so you can see just how far the ripples of your actions and words stretch. And when you've done that, go play Before the Storm. The prequel focuses on the relationship between Chloe and Rachel before the events of life is strained. It's a powerful narrative on growing up, loss, and emotions. It feels more grounded because of its lack of the supernatural, helping make the story options connect and more importantly, resonate. And like the original, Every decision you make changes the flow of the story. Play it over and over again, you deserve it. 3. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End Uncharted the second of may be the best pure expression of what Uncharted is all about, but it's Nathan Drake's final chapter, Uncharted 4 Among Thieves, that delivers the best story. Building on the emotional beats it mastered as a storyteller during production of The Last of Us, Naughty Dog gives us a more thoughtful take on Nate, one that's filled with indie-style thrills but also moments of quiet character pathos. This is the game where Drake finally starts to question his mortality, and more importantly, makes his peace with the fact he needs to soldier up and become an actual adult. 4. Firewatch, walking simulator games that tug at your heartstrings have been seeing a surge of late, but few have dug into the deeper levels found in Campo Santo's Firewatch. The game partially works so well because of the premise. Henry, your character, is spending the summer working as a ranger in Wyoming. Although he wanted the gig to get away from his own thoughts and life, he winds up building a chatty relationship with his boss through their radio conversations. That isolation, tucked away in a natural setting that's equal parts pretty and perilous, makes a perfect backdrop for this suspenseful tale. Each strange discovery Henry makes drives the story forward until it has the unstoppable momentum of an avalanche. Once you start playing, it's damn near impossible to put down until the final credits roll. 5. Red Dead Redemption 2, the second part of one of the greatest video game stories ever told. Once again, this is an exception to including multiple game entries from the same series in this list. Still, when it comes to Arthur Morgan's wondrous Wild West quest, what choice do we have? Combining empowering gunplay with one of the most geographically interesting open-world maps of all time, this is AAA storytelling at its best. Regardless of the fate of its outlaw, Red Dead Redemption 2 somehow sets the stage for an even more compelling sandbox story, with both games combining to create a larger, more cathartic story. 6. God of War After the incredibly shouty original trilogy, few gamers would have thought Kratos and Santa Monica Studio had a great story in them. How wrong we were. While the original games were defined by all-consuming vengeful hate, rebooted God of War ditches much of that loathing for deep-seated, yet restrained parental love. By giving Kratos a son, Sony finally allows Kratos to become a truly three-dimensional character, albeit one who still yanks an ogre's innards out every 40 seconds. A special word too for Christopher Judge. The former Stargate SG-1 actor makes a wonderful Kratos, giving a performance that dovetails between barely contained rage and an all-encompassing love for his child. Once you've experienced the story of the first game, it's well worth journeying your way through the recent follow-up, God of War Ragnarok 8. Telltale's The Walking Dead an intense, emotional ride until the very end. Telltale's The Walking Dead was our game of the year in 2012 because of its gut-wrenching story. Lee Everett, a man on his way to prison, plays the unlikely hero who stumbles upon Clementine, a young girl whose parents were vacationing in another city when the zombie apocalypse happened. Their unexpected journey takes them to Savannah, where her parents should be, 
and along the way you meet a cast of characters who you grow to love or hate with a burning passion. It's okay though, because there are instances when your choices affect their chances of staying in your group. The game's strengths are its dialogue and character development, and it's impossible not to feel sad, guilty, or angry whenever Clementine witnesses or experiences anything horrible. It's a given that when the dead start walking that there will be gruesome scenes, but the pacing, the execution of each scenario made The Walking Dead stand out. 9. The Last of Us, the most emotionally layered, big-budget video game there's ever been. The Last of Us proves to be a masterclass in single-player pacing, setting you in the shoes of a grizzled gunrunner who's more than done with the end of the world. TLOU stands unbelievably tall thanks to his relationship with a young girl who may just hold the key to saving humanity. Ellie isn't just one of the most complex heroes ever. She's arguably the greatest character in PlayStation history. With a remastered re-release that brought the PS3 to PS4, Joel and Ellie's adventure also got a next-gen upgrade with the launch of The Last of Us Part 1. Plus, the story even saw the creation of the hit The Last of Us HBO show which is based on the game. Once you reach the conclusion of the first, it's also worth experiencing the sequel, The Last of Us 2. 10. What remains of Edith Finch? It's hard to tell you exactly why this indie story is so utterly amazing without ruining it entirely, but that's part of its charm. The less you know about this electrically eclectic game, the better. Set aside a Sunday afternoon and play it through in one sitting and, trust us, you won't regret it. What we can tell you is that it's a collection of strange stories about what happened to members of one family. Each one is told using a different gameplay style and the way they play out is as inventive as the stories themselves. This is interactive storytelling at its finest. Freed from big budget story pressures, what remains of Edith Finch can be gloriously random whenever it wants. One moment you'll be playing as a sealed devouring shark, the next a fish butchering factory work, and just when you think you've got its narrative pacing pegged, Edith will floor you with an incredible homage to Michael Myers' Halloween. This is independent storytelling at its most nuanced.